This is the Well U O2 ring that I purchased. I just wanted to track some of the oxygen conditions that I've got going on and just hopefully just help have a more restful sleep because I just feel like I don't get a restful sleep in general. And I wanna figure out just what's going on when I'm sleeping and maybe to try to change some habits so I can become healthier and just get a better oxygen rich sleep. I want to just sleep longer throughout the night and change a few lifestyle things so that that can happen. And I just wanna show you a little bit about how this works. The battery on this lasts around 14 hours or so. So you're gonna to wanna to charge it every other day at the very least if you wanna use it for a night's sleep. If you're just using it to test oxygen throughout the day, then it's not being used very much and then it doesn't matter. But it's comfortable when you wear it and it's a flexible silicone, as you can see here. I know it looks really thin here, but it's not gonna break. And it's comfortable enough literally to sleep and not even notice it's there. I put this on with the little circle piece right here facing inwards. And I like to wear it on my pointer finger or my thumb, generally. So let's see how it works when we put it on. When your ring first wakes up, you'll see the time, which sets automatically from the time on your phone. After a few blinks of the double dash lines, your oxygen percentage is red, as well as your heartbeat. Once you're ready to save, just take the ring off. It will count down to zero and save. Max of four data sets per upload. This is how it looks in the dark on the low setting. After a short while, the numbers do go out. Time to upload, find the app, wake the ring up, and sync the data. It can take up to four data sets at a time. After that, it rewrites over old sets. In real time, it takes about a minute and a half to upload the four data sets. Once it's done, you'll have access to all of your files and all of your old files. The files I just uploaded are bold. After clicking the topmost file, I can see the recent file, so last night's data for the graph of oxygen and the graph of heart rate. Scroll for detail. Get some frequently asked questions answered by clicking the question mark. Here you will find report information and add your information to create an account. Here in the settings, you can select brightness and vibration levels. You can also select thresholds for the oxygen and the heart rate for which the ring will vibrate. You are basically setting the ring to go off as an alarm if something should go wrong. Check for software updates as well. View all of your records from week to month to year. While wearing the ring and in the vHealth app, tap dashboard and you can see current oxygen percentage and current heart rate and a scale from bad to good. Thanks for listening and watching my video.